We out here at Quality Aquatics in Minnesota. Can you read that? Quality Aquatics. Quality Aquatics Pet Shop out here in Minnesota. This place is loads and loads of fish tanks. It is currently under construction, so things are a little bit different than what they would necessarily be if the construction had been finished. But I will say it's an awesome shop so far. What do you think, Jim? I always love this place. Every time I come here, there's something new, and especially the expansion. Uh, so as you can see, there's some things are still under construction, being painted, this and that, and the other thing. But um, they're building stands like crazy and doing the work. And, and uh, honestly, there are just a ton, a ton of fish tanks here. So let's get uh, my face out of the shot and we'll take a look at what's going on here. Aquatics in Minnesota. Yes. Why aren't you? Why can't you focus? Focus. Camera within camera. There you. Oh, I gotta. Let's see what we got here with those guppies. Guppy fish. All right, um, as you can see, there are loads and loads of aquariums here, lots of stuff going on, and lots of work being done because it's actually happening as we speak. Um, wide variety of fish, that is for sure, all the way from the hatchet fish to angels. And check these busters out. Yeah, buddy. Lots of beautiful fish here, lots of stuff to come check out. That is for sure. That is for certain, 100%. Uh, if you're in the area, I would definitely come out here to uh, look for stocking for your fish. Now, I, I don't know what they have as far as like plants and that kind of stuff goes, but this is 100% tons and tons of fish, even to the point of actually even having piranha. You know, if you wanted to get, if you're in Minnesota and you want to get piranha, these are illegal where I'm at. Let me see if I can get to the side here and get a good shot of some of these piranha. Um, but they're legal here, and you could actually get piranha. Of course, they're individually caged, and well, individually caged, nice, individually tanked, because they will be angry. Um, but check this, this out, actually golden, golden piranha. That's crazy. Totally cool, totally cool fish. Not necessarily for me, but you know what I mean. Like if you're, if that's something that you're into, tons of cichlids here for sure. A little red, red Texas action. Yeah, check that buddy out. Totally healthy fish. Great selection of fish, that's for sure. Come over here. Oh, the clown loaches. Oh my gatos. Definitely. Um, Definitely need to have the clown loaches represented, right? Like we gotta, we gotta represent cr clown loaches. I think. Show them off. Emerald rainbows. I would not mind these for my house, honestly. I would uh, definitely be down for these fish at my house. Oh, there's a giant piranha here. And the glare is unmanageable. Giant piranha. Dun, 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 dun. Kobe piranha. Blah! <laughs> oh man. You need to get koi. They got some here, that's for sure.
loads of freshwater stuff everywhere. Um, pretty much, I wouldn't say every freshwater fish that you could ever want, but pretty much any, any freshwater fish that, uh, that you might have an inclination that you really needed um, is pretty much gonna be represented here, honestly. Um, from the neons to the loaches to the red tail sharks, all sorts of stuff, uh, and an extensive um, selection of a lot of cichlid fish, which you don't necessarily see on a regular basis. Um, check out these rainbows. The Makolochi, I think is how you say that. It's probably not right. But like I said, you pretty much get just about any fish here that you need to get. And I will say quite healthy. Um, almost all of these tanks, I haven't really seen anything to indicate that uh, the unhealthy stocking and stuff like that, even to, even to the, just the zebra Daniels, you know what I mean? Like you need the zebra Daniels, that kind of stuff. Or do you need you know, some, some long tail koi. Do you need some long tail koi? They got those. Do you need some very specific angelfish? Or sorry, those are altums. And I'm looking at them. Those are altums. Let me get a good shot of these because someday, someday I'll do altums again. Eh, who knows when that day will be, but ooh, majestic. What a majestic fish. Oh my God, it's almost as majestic as Jimmy. What? He's here filming too. Hmm? I said, what, Jimmy's here filming too? He's listening to rock music. This yeah. is me, that's Corey, that's Jim, and this is Kang Lee, right here. If you haven't been to Kang Lee's channel, you better go check it out. Or, I'm not sure exactly what'll happen. You'll be missing everything, <laughs> right? Life, everything. liberty, all of the good stuff. What do you think, Corey, so far? Well, as I was just talking to King about, there's at least three things in the store I want to buy slash I hadn't seen before. And typically when I visit a store, there's zero things I haven't seen before. I'm like, yeah, seen it, done it. But there was that cool knife fish. Mm -hmm. There's a Doitsu Shiro Itsuri Koi that I would love to take home and cool put koi. my own pond that's not done yet. And then those hyphen blood red swords that I haven't had in like seven or eight years. Right. I haven't seen them in seven or eight years. That's why I don't have them. Right. And I'm on the wait list, the super begging list of like, when there's babies, yeah. I want them. There was about four things that I yeah. wanted to buy myself also. I, of course, have already seen everything before. Now, there were a couple things I, I hadn't seen, like, oh, whoa, I didn't know that variation existed. Uh, but there definitely was a couple things that I definitely do want to take home. Probably not in the cards to pull that off, but now I know to add it to my list at home, right? That's kind of just how it goes. Jimmy! <laughs> Checking it twice. Yeah. Quality Pets, Minnesota. Later. <laughs>